Ever felt like scripting is just so annoying and it's slowing you down? Today I'm gonna drop three amazing tips that have made me script faster than ever before. So get ready for a complete paradigm shift in the way that you script that you won't hear anywhere else. Listen, everyone talks about how hard that scripting is and how long it's gonna take to learn and all these things, right? But what if I told you all of this is just the way you see it, it's all in your head. And if you simply change the way that you think and you do a few small tweaks, you are gonna have a huge difference in the way that you script. And I'm gonna debunk some myths in this video and actually give you actionable steps to speed up game development. So the first tip, well, the fundamentals don't change. So the first step is to know the fundamentals, the basics. And from there, you can really write any script, cover the basics, and you can literally learn anything else in scripting from there. There's a saying that knowledge weighs nothing. It's not as difficult as you think. And I have a full scripting guide. You can open that top right hand corner. You can pop that open in a new tab and you can go ahead and learn scripting like really fast. There's nothing stopping you. And the basics are all you need to start expanding. Tip two, think in systems, not in lines. So most people, they get stuck scripting because they're scripting line by line. But no, you need to think in system, in frameworks. If you're thinking line by line, you're basically coding in isolation. Every time you face a new problem, you're starting from zero, basically. And it's kind of like if you were like a firefighter running from each emergency to another. And it's just, it's just not sustainable to code this way. You're constantly reactive. You're reacting to things rather than proactive, which means that you are ready and you're taking action now and you're causing things to move, to happen. So here is the game changing advice. See your code as interconnected systems. Instead of individual lines or functions, think about how each thing in your script interacts. And what you're doing by thinking this way is you're actually raising your mindset. You're no longer digging through seas and oceans of lines of code. You are controlling it from above. You're looking at it from a bird's eye view. You see all of the outcomes, all the potential, and everything in your script as a whole rather than individual problems where you get stuck in the details. So how do you start thinking like this though? Well, you need to build frameworks, not just one-off scripts. You can start writing your scripts with more functions. That's a good start. You can start making things more modular that way. And you can also use module scripts. And what is a module script? Well, that's a good question. A module script is a script that lets you store functions and lets you store other things too. And you can reference the functions in these scripts from other scripts, making your game, well, more modular. And when you think in modules, in reusable components and scalable solutions to problems, when you think this way, you can write code that doesn't just serve one game or one part of a game, but multiple games and multiple components of those games. You're not just solving one problem, you're solving a whole bunch of issues that might come up in the future. It's planning ahead at its finest. And not just planning ahead, planning overhead, right? So start thinking in system, not, not in individual pieces of code. Like when I started thinking this way, I cut down my scripting time a ton. Like before I was making a whole bunch of random scripts for each little thing, trying to put like a script in each tiny little kill brick for my obby, right? And it's so tedious to be thinking on individual scripts, individual lines, right? You gotta think in systems. And when I started thinking in systems, literally it changed everything. Back back then I'd be making each, each kill brick scripted one by one. But then I made one script and it was a system and it scripted any, any kill brick that came into a folder, for example, would instantly be a kill brick. And when you have a system, when you have a flexible system, it can now be adapted for anything else you want to add to your game later. So this is like a huge tip. I know I've gone on on the second point for so long, but this will speed you up incredibly. This is the most important change. And also, if you want a book that will help you think in systems, there's actually this book called well, thinking in systems. And I haven't finished it, but it's really helped me like see my channel better, see a lot of things better. And you can see things in systems when you read this book a lot better. And it's really just helpful for coding and a lot of things too. All right, tip three, leverage pre-existing code, modules, libraries, tools, anything you can get your hands on, right? So there's tons and tons of tools and libraries and module scripts and open source projects and even some free models that can really speed up your scripting. And there's so many things that other developers have made 
which you can use and even learn from. I'm not saying to just copy stuff. I'm saying you can you can use different things. You can look at the way it was scripted to learn a lot. And we're gonna look at how you can actually start to find modules and start to find things that people have made that can speed up the way that you script. So you can find these on the dev forum, the Roblox dev forum. There's this section called, I believe it's called community resources. And in this section, there are thousands of resources that Roblox developers have made that you can reuse in your game. And a lot of this is like code, etc. right? And when you have this, you can literally insert a module in your game. You can use some of the functions and code that they've, they, they've made already, and you can speed up the way that you code so much. It's, it's unbelievable. Now, there you have it. Those are three amazing tips to speed up the way that you script. And now it is on you to apply this. It's one thing to, you know, know the path you need to take. And it's a completely different thing to actually walk down that path. So get moving, subscribe, and we'll also want to click the video on screen. If you want to learn a process to practice scripting and ensure that you actually can remember the concepts, right? And you can also click the other link to the right uh, to join Scripting Secrets, which is like a masterclass on scripting and the lessons I've made making viral Roblox games with up to 20 million plus visits. It is absolutely amazing and I can't wait to see you in there. And also can't wait to see you check out that video as well.